Good evening, everybody. We'll start with the Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016. There were five fold objects to start this act to establish the Real Estate Regulatory Authority. Like uh, in 1992, there was a big scam in stock market and the SEBI came into the picture. So what was the SEBI role? To stop the insider trading, to stop the manipulation. Similarly, in real estate, there were a lot of manipulation done by the builders. They would not give you the exact carpet area. They will give you the build-up area, then super build-up area. So you were getting only 500 square feet of flat, but the builder used to give you 1,000 square feet. He used to charge for 1,000 square feet. So by bringing this real estate authority act that is called RERA in Maharashtra, like SEBI is controlling the stock market and the corporates. Similarly, this RERA will control and see that there is a smooth running and there is accountability and transparency and there is no manipulation. Like the builder has to maintain his website on the RERA website. He has to give all the details that what will be the exact carpet area, what will be the common areas, what will be the garden area, what will be the swimming pool, clubhouse, everything he has to reveal it. He cannot say, I will uh, do this afterwards. Plus, the main benefit is the builder has to upload the draft agreement. Initially, before coming the RERA into the picture, the builder used to take the money but never execute the agreement. And if he executes the agreement also, he will not mention the possession date. The possession date was kept blank. Now, with RERA coming into picture, the builder has to say how much carpet area as defined by the RERA authority. What comes into the wall is counted as carpet area. Balcony or terrace, they are not counted in the carpet area. So within the four walls, the external walls, whatever you get is the net carpet area, including the column and beams, they are not deducted. So that is one benefit. And then he has to mention the possession date. Initially, the builder never used to mention the possession date. Means majority of the builders, say 70 to 80% of the builders never used to mention the possession date. Now you know the draft agreement. Now what you have to do is you take a printout of the draft agreement, go to your advocate or your legal advisor, pay him some fees, say around 5,000, 10,000, vet the agreement that this agreement is as per RERA or not. Initially, there was not this system. The builder will call you, like, kal aapko stamp register office mein aana hai, gyara baje, aur aapko register karna hai. So you go running there, you wait in the queue, then you are sitting in front of the camera, your fingerprints are taken, your photo is taken, and your signature is taken on the agreement without you seeing what is the content of the agreement and the position date is kept blank. Now with RERA, you can vet the agreement well in advance. And if there is any discrepancy, any ambiguities in the agreement, you have the full right. You have the full right to point out that discrepancy into the RERA authority that this is not as per the RERA agreement. So this is how the RERA is ensuring that there is an accountability, there is a transparency, and there is no manipulation, either on the position date or in the area. And the second point is the promotion of real estate sector. The third point is to ensure the sale of real estate project in efficient and transparent manner. Fourth, to protect the interests of the home buyers in the real estate sector to establish an adjudicating mechanism for speedy dispute redressal. Now I will say that RERA gives you a speedy and affordable justice. Initially, say for example, if your flat value is around between 1.5 crore to 2 crores, and now you think that the builder is not giving me possession or builder is not doing the construction, and you decide that I will go into the high court. Now when you go into the high court, what happens is the flat value is around 2 crore rupees. So minimum court fees is around 3 lakh rupees that you have to pay to the court. And your advocate is also going to charge you similar 
fees because it's going into the high court. So three lakhs plus three lakhs, how much it becomes? Six lakhs plus xeroxing and incidental charges and then commuting from say from uh, Andheri to Chajgate. And now when you lodge your suit for a specific performance, the builder is flooded with money. He will keep hire a very good counsel who has a face value. Now your advocate will also give you ideas that to counter this, we'll also have to keep an counsel equivalent to the builder's counsel. So again, there is a figure of two to three lakh rupees for counsel. So approximately for a litigation, you have to spend around nine to 10 lakh rupees. But when with RERA coming in force, the RERA fees is only 5,000 rupees plus something here and then. So it will cost you around 5,100 rupees approximately. And plus, as per the book and as per the act, you have to, the authority has to dispose your complaint within 60 days. But practically, it doesn't happen that way. Instead of 60 days, you count 120 days or 150 days max to max. Or you have an option, you can go to the high court and say that my hearing is not taking place. You can file a read petition and see that your complaint is redress or addressed or the order is passed within another four weeks. So this becomes very economical. Of course, initially, you know, people used to file complaint on in person. They did not used to hire advocates. Now, when, when you go there and you make some silly mistake, the advocate of the builder is going to take the undue advantage and will linger or will, you know, some excuse or other. So it is advisable to hire a professional in the RERA so that your complaint is filed properly and you get the right justice. Now we go to the next slide. Important aspects under RERA. Provisions pertaining to the following. Promoters, real estate agents, LOTs, that is consumer, the home buyers, concerned authorities and miscellaneous. Promoters, dear Mr. Promoter, say hi to the key to your treasure box because registration. Registration is builder's treasure box. They have to register their project on Maharera website, Maha Online. So if they don't register, they have no right to sell any flat. So registration is the key to the treasure box of the builder because until and unless they don't register the project, they cannot advise, advertise or they cannot sell any flat. No promoter shall advise, market, book, sell or offer to sell or invite person to purchase the flat, apartment or building in any real estate project in any planning area without registering the project in RERA. Oops, section 59. The penalty will be from 0% to 10% of the estimated cost of project. So now any project, if you see in Mumbai, will be costing somewhere around from 200 crores to 10,000 crores. Just imagine if 5% of the penalty is levied on the cost of the project. His 50% of the profit will go in paying the penalty. So this is a very good move by the RERA and it is highly appreciated. If the above penalty is not paid and violation continues, promoters shall be punished. And there can be a jail term to extend to three years or fine, which may extend to further 10% of the estimated cost of project or both. If there are penalty of 10% 10 -10 two times, the whole profit of the builder will go in paying the penalty. So now the builder will be very careful. They will deliver what they promise. Validity of registration till the date of completion as stated by the promoter. Now suppose if the promoter or the builder registers his project in 2018 and he promises that he will give the possession by 2022. 2022. But if the project is not completed by 2022, he will get further extension and the registration is valid till he completes the project. Extension of registration. Registration may be extended due to the circumstances 
फोर्स मेजर नेमली फ्लड ड्राउट फायर साइक्लोन अर्थक्वेक एंड अदर नेचुरल कैमिलिटीज सी सेक्शन सिक्स ऑफ द रेरा एक्ट नाउ वी हैव फेस दिस पेंडेमिक सो द सिक्स मंथ एक्सटेंशन इज गिवन टू ऑल द बिल्डर्स exemption from registration area of land proposed to be de developed does not exceed more than 500 square meters number of apartments proposed are less than 8 where promoter has received completion certificate prior to 1st may 2017 so the act came into effect from 1st june 2017 if the occupation certificate is obtained by the builder prior to 1st may 2017 he does not have to register his project because once you obtain an ob occupation certificate the project is supposed to be complete in all respect ongoing projects to register to register projects which are prior to 1st august 2017 projects of 3 hours not involving marketing advertising selling or allotment what is the 3 hours means 3 hours means if there is a repair renovation or redevelopment of the society and there is no saleable area so they don't have to go for the rera registration mr promoter let's spit it all all out disclosure in application section 4 subsection 2 details of project constructed in last 5 years authenticated copies of approvals and commencement certificates sanction plans and layouts and specification initially builder used to give advance to the land owner put his board and start collecting money there were no sanction plans but now with rera coming into force the builder has to upload all the sanction plans on the rera website all the layouts and specification proposed facilities and amenities numbers and areas of garages for sale where promoter is not the owner agreement entered into between the promoter and such owner fsi and tdr and other entitlements which are proposed to be utilized aggregate area in square meters of the recreation open space so this is how the transparency and accountability is there in place when rera is there now the builder has to swear i swear legal title there are no encumbrances date of completion which normally no builder used to give the date of possession or date of completion 70% of the amount collected from the allotees to be deposited in the schedule bank to cover the cost of construction why this clause is very important because normally builder used to collect the money they used to first give some advance to the land owner they will put the board they will start collecting the pre launch money from all the builders in cash or in check and the, you know gullibles home buyers used to get trapped into this this and the builder used to collect the money from the home buyers and put it in the some other project now with this clause whatever money is collected in that project he has to use the 70% of the amount collected from the allotees to be deposited in schedule bank and to cover the cost of construction of the same project he cannot utilize the money anywhere else oops section 60 will come in place penalty up to 5% of the estimate cost of pro project section 7 the revocation of registration authority may revoke a registration on being satisfied that the promoter is defaulted in doing anything required under the act rules and regulation the promoter violated the terms and conditions of approval the promoter is involved in unfair or fraudulent practice or irregularities consequences no access to its websites name of the promoter to appear on list of defaulters on the website the registration communicated to the authority in other states means throughout india he will be blacklisted freezing of his bank account with the scheduled bank what is the status of the project post revocation of registration see section 8 section 8 i'll just elaborate on the section 8 section 8 is that the rera will form 
or give an opportunity to all the home buyers, the aggrieved home buyers, that you form an association or society and you take over the project and complete the project and whatever the unsold inventories are there, the societies can collect the money from selling that unsold inventories and complete the project. So there is no need of, you know, leading the builder by Hamara Ghar Bap Karke Do, Amku Pura Karke Do. So the section eight and seven is a very crucial. I will have one more seminar only related to section and seven and section eight that how you should go if you are facing this uh, issue. Functions and duties of promoter, section 11. He has to maintain the website during booking and issue of allotment letter. Now, up to 10%, he has to issue the allotment letter. After 10% of collecting the money, he has to enter into an agreement. Create a web page, enter details as stated in section 4, subsection 2, and quarterly updates on the project. Every three months, he has to update what is the progress of the project. Disclose advertisement and prospectus. During the booking and issue of the allotment letter, disclose sanction plans, layout plans approved by the competent authority. That is ROA, that is the right of LOT. Disclose stage-wise schedule of completion of the project, including the provisions of civic infrastructure like water, sanitation, and electricity. Again, this is the right of LOT. Fulfill obligations and functions as stated in the Act, rules, regulations, and agreements for sale. Obtain completion certificate and occupation certificate. Obtain lease certificate where the real estate project is developed on the leasehold land. Form a legal entity like association, society, or cooperative society within three months from the date on which 51% of the total number of the total number of the allotees in the building have booked their apartments. This is very important. Once the builder books 51% of the total number of units, not even the registered agreement, the moment he books more than 51%, he has to form a society or an association of allotees. Normally, if you see, there are 20 years, 30 years, the builder has not conveyed the land. He has not formed the society. He is running the society or he is running the source till date. With this clause, even if there is a, the building is half complete and he sells or books 50% of the total unit of the project, he is bound to form a society or an association of allotment. Pay all outgoings collected from the LRT till physical possession is transferred. Not to mortgage or create any charge on property after execution of agreement for sale. Cancel allotment only on terms of agreement for sale. Section 12. LRTs. How many of LRTs here who have purchased the flat and they want to know what the RERA is going to give them? Now, Section 12. Loss sustained due to the incorrect or false statement in the advertisement or prospectus. Now, builder, you know, puts up a very big large hoardings, give the full page ad, and they give you all the, you know, dreams. But if you have this advertisement and whatever product you get, it is not as per the advertisement, you can take action against the builder under section 12. Because you were promised something and you are getting something else. That is due to incorrect or false statement in advertisement or prospectus or misrepresentation by the builder. Section 13, no agreement for sale, no advance deposit. You can give advance up to only 10%, you will get the allotment letter. The moment you pay more than 10%, you have to execute an agreement. Otherwise, no advance or deposit is given to the builder. Section 14, adherence to the sanction plan. The promoter squared cannot act without the consumer's not. What is this? Allotees, if the promoter wants to change the plan, he has to take the consent of the home buyers. Arbitrarily or unilaterally, he cannot change the plan without taking the consent of the buyers. Allotees specify and promoters rectify. Section 15, 
obligation of promoter in case of transfer of a real estate project to a third party now during the course of construction either he is fed up of the project or he is not able to complete the project and he joins hands with some other builder either into jv or gives the project or the project is take over by some other builder but the obligation of the promoter in case of transfer of a real estate project to a third party is still remains he cannot say is that the other builder had book now i am not responsible even the incoming builder is equally responsible as the builder who was initially in the project section 16 insurance of real estate project transfer of title conveyance and common area promise broken let money apologize right of lot that is we said roa interest plus compensation or interest if the builder pro now this section 18 is a very crucial section in which you have two provisions one provision is if the builder is not giving you the delivery or the possession of the flat as promised the first option is you can exit from the project with complete refund and you will get the interest from the date of amount which you have paid in installments suppose if certain amount you have paid from 2015 say you have paid 10 lakhs the interest will be calculated from 2015 the next installment you paid in 2016 say another 10 lakhs so for that another 10 lakhs the interest will be calculated from 2016 and plus you have the provision of getting the compensation also oops section 61 contravention of any provision except section 3 and 4 or rules or regulations made penalty up to 5% of the estimated cost of project agent let's know who you are initially in mofa the act the agents you know they were not made a party now in this even the agents who are selling the under construction flats have to get registered themselves from the rera authority and they have to maintain all the accounts and books they have to give their recent photograph the income tax receipt for the last 3 years proof of address details of civil and criminal cases any pending validity of the registration the registration to be valid for a period of 5 years bar on registration no fresh application shall be accepted for a period of 6 months from the date of revocation or suspension of the registration functions of real estate agents not facilitate the sale or purchase of any plot apartment or building in an unregistered real estate project the agent has to be careful he cannot sell you the plots or flats which are not registered in the the provision the project is not registered maintain and preserve prescribed books of account and documents as prescribed facilitate the possession of all information section 62 penalty up to 5% of the cost of plot apartment building or which the sale or purchase has been facilitated so builder cannot cheat the home buyer neither the agent cannot cheat the home buyer the other side of the coin lot is you are also not exempted duties of allotees that is section 19 payment to be made as per the terms agreed in the agreement for sale delay in payment of above charges will attract payment of interest take physical possession within 2 months of issuance of the occupancy certificate participate towards the formation of a legal entity with society association of allotees or cooperative society etc now many a times you know the home buyer was defaulting in the payment so now the rera comes into picture in the agreement now if the home buyer defaults the developer used to charge 24% of the interest whereas if the builder defaults he used to give only 9% after rera coming into picture the rate of interest is fixed that is the state bank of india's lending rate that is today is 7% plus 2% so 9% so either builder defaults he will give 9% or if the home buyer defaults he has to give 9% so the law is same for the home buyer as well as the builder 
authorities under RERA, Real Estate Regulatory Authority, composition one chairperson and minimum two whole time members, filing of complaints, complaint may be filed by the aggrieved person under section 31 of the act for violation of the act rules and regulation, manner of implementation of orders in the same manner as if it were a decree or order made by the principal civil court of the original jurisdiction in the principal civil court for execution. Address of hearing of complaints. Bandra East, now this is a little old uh, slide. Now the address have changed. There are two different offices now. One is in Bandra East and one is at Chadgate Station. But now due to pandemic, there are no physical hearing going or happening, we are doing all virtual hearing, that is teleconferencing or video conferencing. The period of disposal, that is section 29, which says that within 60 days from the date of receipt of the application. But my dear friends, this doesn't happen in practical. In 60 days, it does not get disposed of. It takes around 120 days to 150 days, which is much better than going into high court and wait for decades to get the order. Stages of inquiry after filing the complaint, appearance of party, then recording of plea of the respondent. If the, he pleads guilty, then the order is passed on the same day. If not plead guilty, then the explanation or reply to be filed by the respondent. Then in the next hearing, leading the evidence or uh, oral or documentary, then final arguments and fifth stage is the final order. So if these five stages, if you take that every two weeks, this is happening. So it will take around 75 to 90 days. But I am being more practical. You say that between 120 days to 150 days. So within four to six months in RERA, you should get the justice. Consequence of breach of order. Promoter. Section 63, penalty of 5% of the estimated cost of project. Agent, Section 65, penalty 5% of the estimate cost of building plot apartment for which the sale or purchase was facilitated. LOT, Section 67, penalty up to 5% of the estimate cost of building plot or apartment which he has booked. The real estate appellate tribunal. Now, <clears throat> Suppose if you are a home buyer and you are not satisfied with the order of the RERA, then you have to file your appeal in the Real Estate Appellate Tribunal that is at Kalagoda. Even there also you just have to file your complaint but even in this pandemic, the virtual hearing is taking place and it is composed of one chairperson and minimum two whole time members one being a judicial member and the other technical administrative member. Jurisdiction, try appeals from the order and real estate regulatory authority. Period of limitation, within 60 days from the date on which the copy of order is received. Suppose if you are a home buyer and you are not happy with the order of the RERA, so within 60 days, you have to file an appeal in the appellate tribunal. Man manner of implementation of orders, order to be executed by the appellate tribunal as a decree of a civil court. If you are not happy with the order of the appellate tribunal, then within 60 days from the date of communication of the order of the appellate tribunal, you can approach the high court. Consequence of breach of order, promoter section 64, the imprisonment minimum three years or fine 10% of the estimated cost of project or both. Real estate agent, Imprisonment maximum one year or fine or up to 10% of the estimate cost of plot apartment building for which the sale or purchase has been facilitated or both. Section 68, imprisonment maximum one year or fine up to 10% of the estimate cost of building or the project or both. Miscellaneous, bar of jurisdiction. As per section 79, civil courts have no jurisdiction. Now, suppose 
if you have a dispute between the builder and you are a home buyer so you cannot go to city civil court neither you can go to the high court you have to go to the rera first if you are not happy with the rera order you go to the appellate tribunal if you are not happy with the appellate tribunal order then you can go to the high court you cannot approach with this type of dispute to the city civil court or to the high court directly cognizance of offense section 80 no court shall take cognizance of any offense punishable under this act rate of interest payable by the promoter and the lot the state bank of india highest marginal cost of lending rate plus 2% i explained you in earlier nowadays state bank of india is charging 7% so 7 plus 2 9% and this applies to both lot as well as the promoter timeline for refund within 60 days from the date on which such refund becomes due and payable to the lot so the order suppose if you get a refund order the builder has to refund that money within 30 days from the date of which such refund becomes due and payable to the lot parking space open parking area this has been clearly included in the definition of common areas which need to be conveyed to the association of lots after the occupation certificate is received or to the cooperative society which is registered hence the sale of allotment of open parking areas by the promoter is not permissible as per rera covered parking as defined in the act is permitted to be sold garage as defined in the act is permitted to be sold judgments on rera <clears throat> there are you know many judgments which we have come across which are going to help you one is of messrs fortune infrastructure known as econ infrastructure and others versus trevor dilema and others on march 12 2018 and in this case even the supreme court held that 3 years is a reasonable time period for construction now what was happened <clears throat> in this case was trevor dilema <clears throat> had approached ncdrc because he's at that time the cost of his flat was more than 1 crore it was around say 3 crore rupees he had booked the flat in bandra and he had paid almost 90 to 95% of the payment and builder has not started the construction even after 8 years the ncdrc told that when you have collected the money so 3 years is a reasonable time if, even though the possession date is not mentioned so 3 years is a reasonable time of period to construct a building he went to supreme court and supreme court also upheld that 3 years is a reasonable time period for construction or completion of a building so this becomes when any judgment is passed in supreme court it becomes a law it becomes a rule so this is a very good judgment where you have in your allotment letter or in your agreement if there is no date of possession this judgment is going to help you a lot it comes to handy then pioneer urban and infrastructure limited with versus govind raghavan on april 2 2019 in this case the supreme court held the buyer can be expected to wait for a reasonable period and not indefinitely also proceedings under indian bank rupsi code 2016 ibc and rera can sustain parallelly banjit singh daliwal versus jvpt properties private limited this is a fantastic judgment because there were many you know confusion that if i have an allotment letter and if i don't have a registered agreement my complaint for withdrawal will be not been entered entertained by the rera authorities but this judgment observed that complainant filed on basis of allotment letter is valid and complaint of allotees will not fall for want of want for agreement for sale if there is no agreement for sale and you have an allotment letter the complaint is valid in the rera authorities so this is a very good judgment given by the appellate tribunal and if you fall in this category you can use this judgment then neel kamal realtors suburban private limited versus the union of india on 6 december 2017 writ petition number 2737 of 2017 in this case 
बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट हेल्थ प्रोविजन ऑफ रेरा आर एक्सटेंड रिट्रोक्टिव और कॉसी रिट्रोक्टिव एंड द पार्लियामेंट हैज पावर टू लेजिस्लेट इवन सच प्रोविजन आर नॉट अल्ट्रा वायर्स टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन द बॉम्बे हाई कोर्ट सेट वॉट एवर द रेरा इज बीन constituted is legal and nobody can challenge the authority of rera so there are various other judgments we will send it to you on, on your email address which we have you can refer to us and if you have any queries you can let us know now i will uh, this is my number 89283723920 you can note down this number and you can send me the queries on the whatsapp or you can note down my this uh, email id and now we will take the question answers only you have to give me the chat box what are your questions and answers and we will take one by one question is if project is launched prior to rera and currently stuck in litigation how can rera help to customer to get the refund from builder if project is not registered in rera yeah so now even the unregistered project you can make a complaint to the rera even for unregistered project you can complain to the rera next question in case of society self redevelopment what is the effect of rera and if society members give society for redevelopment to builder then what role of society's managing committee see if you have entered into a redevelopment agreement so if you are an existing member of the society so you are not an allotee as per the rera definition if you take say even 10 square feet from the builder and you enter into an agreement then you become an allotee and then you can file your complaint in the rera self redevelopment and the redevelopment is a separate uh, topic altogether and a separate subject which i am going to take it uh, in the due course of time Um, the Maybe next question that we have is: Is uh -huh. RERA applicable in case of redevelopment? No, RERA. I told you, only for the sale component it is applicable, not for the existing members. But if the existing members purchases even a ten square feet of the area, additional area, and he registers the agreement, he is entitled as an LOT in the RERA, and he can, has the right to file a complaint in RERA. But not if he has purchased. Okay. Um. The next question that we have is: After winning a case in Rera, still the builder does not pay penalty. Then what needs to be done? See, then there is you have to file your uh, this thing for the compliance of the order. That is being done uh, digitally. You open your uh, this thing, user ID and uh, password, and then just you have to click the button that for the compliance of the order. And within sixty days, your hearing will be done, and he will be penalized. or the authority will issue an order to the collector to seize his properties and seize his bank account his bank account will be frozen next question um can we file a complaint in rera regarding sra building no only for the sale component of the sra project you can file a complaint but if you are a slum dweller and you are an eligible uh, what you call patra of that particular area you have no right until and unless you are in a cell component for the existing member either in the society or in the slum sra project you don't have any right in rera only when you purchase something from the builder you become an allotee and you have all the right to file a case in rera so another question that we have is uh, can we file a criminal case also on builder if he doesn't give us possession of area promise yeah fine you see th that is a crime that is a cheating you can do both you can have simultaneously both the proceedings going on one is criminal and one is civil but you cannot file a complaint in rera and the civil court and the consumer court simultaneously <coughs> so the next uh we have another question project registered with rera 
equals is buyer tension free regarding title clearance of building example maradu kerala building constructed but later of uh, uh, it was found that it is in crz land all buildings were to be demolished so what <clears throat> happens in such cases in such cases you have to file both uh, the complaint in rera as well as a criminal complaint for uh, breach of trust and cheating another question that we have is agreement for sale of building under construction and sale agreement for completed project is there a difference between the two normally uh, the schedule of the property and everything will be the same only if it is a completed project you give everything all the money up front right and if it is a construction uh, under construction then the sale agreement will say at this stage you will play on completion of fifth slab you will play so and so amount on seventh slab you will pay so and so amount on ninth slab will so and so amount otherwise the agreement is more or less going to be the same only the payment schedule will differ okay sir another question is um, why are there conflicts between mufa and rera because my agreement was registered long back there is no conflict between mofa and rera rera you know supersedes mofa also if your agreement is registered long back and the project is registered in rera the builder has not given you the possession you have all the remedy available in the rera so uh, what is retroactive in rera retroactive in rera is suppose your agreement was done somewhere in around 2015 or 2014 2013 2011 but the project is still ongoing and the project is registered under rera so you will get the benefit if you are withdrawing from the project since it is a rera registered project if you have booked in 2011 and you want to exit from the project so you will get all the benefits from 2011 till the date of money refunded to you so that is called retroactive so the next question is if society land is given to builder for development then what role of managing committee in rera what is the role of managing committee in rera there is no role of managing committee in rera see you are an existing member until and unless you purchase something from the builder you don't fall into the ambit of lrt and so you don't fall under the rera so another question is um one promoter formed two firms for two different projects yeah when i was searching on rera website i have noticed that in the list of promoters same one person has two different names in two different projects but the photograph is the same in both projects you can complain to the rera authority yeah so how and where can we complain uh, you you have purchased that you have purchased from any of the project are you a purchaser are you a home buyer then you have the right to complain to the rera authority that this is the manipulation done by the builder Okay, sir. Another question that we have is, um, what is the role of a tehsildar after rera order is done? Yes, it's a very good question. Once uh, the promoter does not comply with the order, the order goes to the collector, and the collector sends it to the concerned tehsildar to seize the property of the builder and to seize the bank account of the builder. So that is the role of the tehsildar. to seize the property of the builder of the defaulting builder and seize the bank account of the defaulting builder i hope everybody enjoyed uh, this session so there's another question that has come up how much time does the tehsildar have once he receives the file see he will act immediately there is no time frame for the tehsildar but normally they act within 2 to 4 weeks or 2 to 6 weeks only thing is you will have to follow up with the tehsildar consent tehsildar so more questions have come in um okay. suppose if we get orders from rera then is it easy uh, it is easy to get excited normally how much time it may take and whom to approach see i'll tell you if you get an order from the rera the builder is given 30 days time but you as a home buyer you have to wait till 60 days after 60 days you have to file 
a complaint in the rera for the compliance of the order that the order is not complied so there will be hearing will be taken place and after hearing the bidder will be given one chance even to if the bidder fails then the order is sent to the collector to seize all his properties and seize all his bank accounts so the next question is um, what remedy is available for home buyers in case the property is sealed due to default of builder yeah then under section and under section 8 under section 7 and section 8 you have to form an association or a society and then you take over the project so the next question is if builder has got part os does he fall out of the ambit of rera no only up to the suppose now the building is of uh, say 21 floor and he has got os up to the 15 floor so up to 15 floor he is exempted from rera but up from 15 floor to 21 floor the rera is still there so any aggrieved home buyers who has not got the possession still can file the complaint if his flat is not within the part oc uh... so another question is um when the land society is given to builders then is there any accountability of society in the rera act no there is no accountability of the society in the rera act for the society matters you have to approach to the deputy registrar divisional joint registrar and then you can file a separate case in the corporate court or in the high court or city civil court as per the your uh, matter so that's that's all the questions that we've got a lot of people have said uh, thank you for the webinar and that they have got a good information out of it okay thank you and good night bye thank you sir bye bye